Hey guys, beautiful day in the north today, I tell you. The date today is April 30th, 2021. First day that it's actually starting to feel like spring. It's overcast, but it is warm. What I'm up to today, you say, well today I got these frozen walleye fillets. I'm trying to thaw them out. Once I get them thawed, I'll put them on my special secret brine and then uh, we'll put them in the smoke shock. We'll smoke them all day and hopefully they're done by tonight. So this will be smoked, smoke dried walleye. Uh, it's gonna be some good, I tell ya. So first thing I gotta do, I gotta, uh, gotta get these thawed and we'll put them in our special brine and uh, we'll put the smoke on them, guys. It's gonna be good, I tell ya. Once they get thawed out, we'll uh, get them in our special brine, our secret uh, walleye fish brine. We'll let them soak for an hour or so, uh, and then we'll put the smoke on them. Okay, well, guys, let's get the party started. So, we need some water for our fish. Quick way to thaw them out is just put them in water. You know they say uh, when you wash fish of any kind, don't use top water. The chemicals in the top water, it makes the meat, makes the fish almost, I don't know, it goes like hard and it cracks up. Now, if you wash your fish in river water, uh, the natural water that they came from, uh, uh, that doesn't happen. The chemicals don't react with the fish and, and you get a nice, good fillet, huh? So never wash your fish in top water, ever. You, you, you just mess them up, you might as well just feed them to the dog, huh? Anyways, we'll get some water here and uh, we'll get our fish thawing. Don't go too far, Rudy. This is all still ice under here. So, uh, yeah, Rudy should be all right playing out there. He just loves the water, huh? Hey, Rudy, come on, let's go. Come on, good boy, let's go. Quite the curious pup. Okay, let's get some water. Oh, that is cold. Ooh. Hey, that's for fish, Rudy. That's cold, man. And we got some company. Good morning, Father. Good morning. What do you got here? It's deep fried bannock, but I think my oil was old. Taste it. Does that, does oil go old? I think so. Tastes old. Aftertaste. A little aftertaste. Or is it just the coffee? Is it... Good? Tastes fine to me. Oh, this I is, don't know. Just my taste buds. Yeah, tastes like a fritter. Good, though. Mm. Oh, yeah. Fritter. No, no, that's good. Don't feed those to the dog. No. That's weird. Okay, back to our operation here. So, <clears throat> we got our water hauled up from the river. Set up. And we'll just soak our fish in here. It shouldn't take too long in here in water. It should only take, I don't know, probably 40 minutes to an hour. We'll get right in there. Those ones are just about thawed right out. So when I uh, when I clean these fish, I just slobbed them. So they got the ribs on them and stuff. Uh, I don't know if I should take the ribs out of them or if I should just put them in like that. We'll thaw them out and we'll have a look at them. Then uh, and we'll put the secret brine on them. We'll let them sit for a little bit. And uh, yeah, we'll put the smoke on them. I can't wait. My mouth is just watering looking at that. Good fresh walleye. What are you doing, little Ricky? See a squirrel? I see a squirrel, little Ricky. Go get him, Ricky. Go get that squirrel. Go get him. So, what are we gonna smoke our fish with? Diamond willow. I'll start off as usual. I'll start off with uh, with dead diamond willow, and I'll get a good set of good bed of coals going, and. Uh, and then from there, I'll put green on it to get that good smoke flavor in it. But uh, yeah, so Diamond Willow, the reason they call it Diamond Willow, they got little diamond shapes in it. And uh, these are all Diamond Willow. Actually, most willow back here is Diamond Willow. All this stuff. So I got lots of Diamond Willow. And I've been cutting Diamond Willow back here for, oh shit, 10 years. So <laughs> like it's everywhere. So I always smoke my meat or fish always with diamond willow. 
you know, you could go to the store and buy like flavored chips and stuff, but you know what, why would you want to do that when you could just go, go out back in the bush and, and cut your own. And I'm sure diamond wool is a hell of a lot better than any of that flavored, flavored stuff you got. Now you see diamond willow, it's got that orangey look to it. Willowy look. Smells like diamond willow. But good guys, this willow is what is going to give our uh, give our fish that good flavor, the flavor that we're looking for. And again, you know, you don't want to just pick up any old shit wood off the ground and put it in there because they all have different flavors to them. Uh, you know, like if you use spruce, oh, that's bad. You don't want to use spruce for smoking or anything. Any type of willow. Diamond willow is my favorite. Uh, younger red willow is good. Uh, there's all different kinds, but diamond willow is by far my favorite. Diamond willow and a little bit of back eddies. Yeah, I didn't think about that either. Sitting kind of on low ground. I was smoking caribou meat. Uh, my fire went out, so I had to get a piece of tin and put it on the tin because this was all water in there. Never even crossed my mind. <laughs> yeah, black smoke from the bark. That's what I was talking about, about using birch. A lot of, like I said, a lot of people said that birch is good for smoking fish, but you gotta strip the bark off it. Because the sap and the bark is what makes up black smoke. Okay, well, that's a good piece. We'll see about that later. Okay. Just leave this door open and keep an eye on that so my new smoke shock don't burn down. And, uh, yeah. Throw some bigger wood on there. We'll get a nice bed of coals going. I think we'll put the, the fish on the bottom, or maybe we'll put the fish on the middle rock. I think it gets more heat on the middle rock, you know. Heat does rise. So if I put, yeah, I'll put that. Maybe I'll put the, I'll put the buffalo. I'll put the buffalo meat on the top rock. Fish on the middle rock. Yes, oh, look at that. You know, my last video that I made. Oh, I dropped the last piece. Oh, when I, Last video I made when I was preserving caribou meat with smoke. Camera's looking at you. Huh? Camera's facing you. That's what you give to me. Oh, okay. Anyways, that's fine. So, when I was smoking meat the last time, uh, <laughs> I'm just laughing at Dad. Sorry, it's funny. <laughs> so, that big bag of smoked meat, that whole front quarter that I made, I filled my belly the very first night. And the second night is like, I'm saving all this for myself. I'm gonna leave it here at the cabin. I'll bring a little bag to, to my parents or whatever next time I come in. So anyways, a buddy came here, uh, stopped in for a visit one night and I said, here, try out this smoked meat. So I took it down off my top rack and it was, it was all done in my in my cloth bag I had it in. Uh, I gave him some, he's like, holy man, this is some good. I said, yeah, you ain't gonna find this anywhere else. And I was like, yeah, no, that's all you get. The rest is mine, whatever, just being real stingy with it. So anyways, I leave Charlie. I leave Rudy in the cabin and we went off to do whatever we were doing. I come back and that cloth bag was empty on the floor. There wasn't even a little piece like this left in it. <laughs> so I ate about a quarter of that meat and uh, Rude Rudy ate the rest. Was I pissed off? I was pretty angry. Anyways, good learning experience. So in here, I got some buffalo fry meat. Uh, this meat actually came from the Hay River Mateys. Uh, they had a few buffalo that they uh, butchered up this year and they give it to the members and the elders. So I was, uh, was lucky enough to get this. I had another pack, I fried it up and it's already pre-sliced. So I figured while I'm doing my fish, what the hell, let's have some, uh, some smoked buffalo meat. So I'll just open that up. I had this thawing since last night. It's pretty thawed right now. Let's open her up and have a look at her. This buffalo meat, this is wild buffalo. This wasn't farmed buffalo or uh, store bought buffalo meat. So this is all organic wild buffalo meat with no preservatives or anything else they got in it. And they cut it just perfectly the size that you would want for smoking. When I opened the other pack, I didn't know that it was it was already pre-sliced. I, I sharpened my knife and I was getting ready to I was getting ready to slice it up. I opened the bag up and I was like, "Wow, that's a bonus!" Like this is this is 
some nice nice looking meat for for smoking so i'll lay it all out uh and we'll use none other than back at ease made for a chef by a chef this is by far the best seasoning that you could get for any wild game for anything uh, if you have something that you don't like and it don't taste very good you throw a little bit of back eddies on it and uh, that's when the magic happens guys it will totally change the taste for the better of course so we'll just give it all a little sprinkle I don't got very much I forgot to grab some more when I was in town so we'll just be a little cheap with it today look at that still a little frozen in the middle but that's fine middle pieces lay these ones this way yeah look at that man isn't that good it would be nice if I had about about a half a dozen bags of this uh, this meat was sliced by the butcher I believe look at that that's perfect perf that's not for you Rudy hey smart up that's a perfect for the smoker perfect size meat If you guys have never tried back eddies before or if you ever come across it in a store i highly recommend you buy you buy it and try it out uh you'll be pleasantly surprised mark my words i could really smell it i can smell the meat and the back eddies on there oh it smells good i just want to eat a piece right now raw but it'll taste a lot better smoked okay into the smoker she goes Look out, Rudy. Oh, I can feel the heat. I just got a, a shot of heat. I open that up. So I'll put the I'll put the uh, buffalo meat on the bottom rack. Man, that's nice. I wish I could slice meat this this perfect with my hunting knife. Oh yeah, this is going to be a real treat. This will be a real treat. Shit, that don't look too bad, does it? Mm -hmm. It's pretty good. Okay, uh, throw a little bit more wood on there. And we'll go and clean our fish. We'll use the secret, uh, the secret brine that was passed down by my grandfather and his grandfather and his grandfather. I got 12 and a half fillets. As you can see, I just slobbed them. So I got to take the ribs out and I might as well take the uh, backbone out too while I'm at it. Okay. Yeah, this, uh, yeah, my brown sugar is rock hard. I had this, I had this brown sugar in the cupboard for, I think, since last year. Yeah, it's not as, yeah, it'll dissolve a little bit. So, we'll use lots. We'll use this whole bag. We'll use this whole bag. Yeah. Well, that'll get in there. We got a little bit of salt. I don't want to overdo it with the salt. It's probably lots. Okay. Make sure we get all those ribs out of there. We don't want no, we don't want no bones in our, in our smoked fish. Okay. 
This one's still a little bit frozen, but that's fine. And we'll do another layer. And then we'll do the same thing with our uh, with our salt and our brown sugar. Okay, so that's what we ended up with. Twelve and a half walleye fillets. Like I said, I, I beat the piss out of that brown sugar and trying to bust it up. I got most of it done, but you still see there's a lot of big chunks. I put lots on anyways, so whatever. Get her, get her all swooshed around a little bit. Shake her up good. You know, usually I'd, I'd like to leave this in for an hour or so, but it is getting late in the day. So that's fine. Okay, on to the smoke they go. Shake them up on the way. Fire's going good in here, I see. We'll check on our meat. Oh, look at that. Oh shit, they're already starting to, they got that little film over them. You know, uh, here, let's set that there. You know, once the meat gets that little, uh, that little dry uh, filament over it, that's actually what cures it. So the inside of the meat could actually be still pretty raw and, and it won't go bad. But once it gets that hard crust over it, that keeps the bacteria from going into your meat and uh, and doing its thing. So it's drying really nice. It's only been in there for about an hour and a half now. Uh, but yeah. Okay, so our fish. I should have, thinking about it now, I should have put, uh, I'm thinking about it now, I should have put the, fi uh, the fish on the bottom <clears throat> and the meat on the top because all this fish slime is going to drip on our meat. And I don't really want that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to move our meat to the top, uh, the middle rock and then I'll put the fish on the bottom. I wasn't even thinking when I did it. So we'll do, we'll, we'll get that done right now. Oh yeah, look, it's already sticking on there good. Oh, this is going to be like candied salted fish. I can't wait. I can't wait till it's done. Oh shit, I forgot to cut lines in that one. Uh, oh well, that's fine. That's fine. We'll just put it right there, right by the heat. Okay. Get that out of the way there. <clears throat> yeah. That looks good, man. That looks pretty good. So, I'll keep my fire going here now for, uh, till it gets dark out. Probably keep the smoke going on the fire and the heat probably, you uh, know, six hours seven hours yeah i'm just gonna i'm gonna do this one here up must have forgot one I took all the bones out of it but like i said this is just gonna get that flavor the salt and the smoke all in it it may not look like much right now but you just wait till this is done i'll have your guys' mouth watering Okay, that looks pretty good. Throw a little bit more wood on the fire and make sure the shock don't burn down as our fish and meat cures. You know, guys, it's looking good. I just threw some more wood on the fire. I put some good dry stuff down there and green on the top. Hopefully that's not too much, but yeah, I don't think the flame will come too high. Put on quite a bit of heat. That'll burn down a little more. And and the green diamond willow will make lots of good smoke. Yeah, look, you see our fish is already starting to dry a little bit on top. That's good. The salt and the and the sugar will suck all the moisture out. Like you see, look at that one there. I don't know if I should. Ooh. Smells good. 5 p.m. Our fish and meat has been on in the smoker all afternoon. Let's 
trying to get a little more heat in there. I had a little piece already. This is just about right done. Look at that. That one's the thicker one is. Yeah. Yeah, I had the smallest piece. The thinnest one was done, it was crunchy. I'm trying to get a good bit of coals going in there. Too much heat? Nah, it's nope. good, huh? That's what I thought. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take some fillets for supper. Now that they've been smoking for a while, I'll take the thicker ones, I think. How many fillets you want, Dad? Yeah, one's good for now. Okay, I'll have one, two. Let's take this one right here. Here, hold this, it's stuck right on there, good. I was gonna put them in tin foil, but I don't have any, so. I don't know, I'll just put them in a frying pan, maybe. Go on the top there. Oh yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. Get my head on there, you get that. <laughs> You know, those are almost look like they're coming along good. Almost ready to eat. <laughs> yeah. We'll put them on top of the stove for a bit though and make sure yeah. they're, they're good. Don't look under there. Nothing burning under there. It looks good. So we'll keep the smoke on here till eight or nine tonight. And we'll have a look at how they look afterwards. Looks good. Mm -hmm. They almost look pretty just about done. Okay. So this is supper. This and some potatoes and some onions. We'll slice that up. And I was thinking, oh, what should we have for supper tonight? And I was like, well, we got a dozen fillets in there smoking. I was like, frick, we could take a few of those and fry them up or cook them up, and that'll be supper. Right on, it's looking good. It smells good. It is quarter to ten at night. Smoke's been going on since about noon, I think. Uh, gonna check the fire. And we'll check our fish. It's gotta be pretty dry and all. Let's just have a look here. Oh yeah, looks pretty good, huh? It's still, it's hey, it's not for you, brute. <laughs> it's uh, it's pretty dry. That's good. So what I want to do with this fish, I want it to be dry, dry. I don't want no moisture left in it. It's a lot of these bigger pieces here. You know, like that. Smells, it smells really good. A lot of the bigger pieces, they're going to need a few more hours for sure. Like I said, when you pull the bigger chunks apart, I want it to be like chewy. Not, uh, yeah. So like this piece here, look at this one. This piece here must be pretty damn close to being done hard let's just try a little chunk of that and take a little piece off oh yeah that is pretty hard try this one it's good it's real chewy i can really taste the uh the sugar in there the brown sugar with a little bit of salt, it's really good. Uh, I can taste the smoke in it, but it's just not dry enough. I might have to keep the smoke on this fish here till tomorrow, all day tomorrow too, guys. Or late through the night. Oh, this piece here looks pretty. This one here is pretty dry, right over the direct direct flame, huh? Oh yeah, this piece over the direct flame sure looks sure looks good. But. Oh, they're kind of stuck down, so I'll unstick them all, pull them all off, and I'll just keep the smoke going on them. But you know, guys, but you know, guys, these sure are turning out pretty good. So yeah, I'll just put them all a little closer in the heat now. I'll keep the fire going in here probably till midnight tonight, and uh, in the morning we'll we'll check it. And we'll decide then we'll know if it needs if it needs more smoke and more heat but that's looking pretty good <laughs> that's looking really good i'm pretty pleased already oh and the meat here this is pretty much all done i'll leave it in here though me and dad had a few pieces for supper and man oh man there were some good i'll let these dry it'll take a couple little pieces for for a little snack for later Sure wasn't a whole lot of meat, but uh, man, it'd be nice to have this whole smoke shack filled 
with buffalo meat or any type of meat but this buffalo meat is really good and it's really dry crunchy that's why i want that fish to be tomorrow so uh, it's really starting to cool off now it's probably about zero so uh so yeah we'll keep a good fire in here our fish will be done in a few hours if not tomorrow okay guys gonna turn my smoke shock go and relax for the evening get a good night's rest got a busy day tomorrow and uh talk to you guys in the morning hey group see what is even you on nice morning here it is raining and snowing out rain most of the night so i haven't looked in the shock yet let's check on our check on our fish and see how it dried i stoked the fire before i went to bed at midnight it smells good let's see that it's uh it's rained most of the night so it's pretty moist out but this looks pretty good this is how i wanted it let's say ah oh, cheese done I see yeah turned out good already high piece it's real chewy and good uh like I said it rained all night so it's kind of moist out so all I'm gonna do with our fillets now I'll put them on my inside drying rock and I'll put them in the cabin. You can see that's done, done. I'll put them up above the stove and they can finish off drying there. But yeah, this is, this is good looking. Good looking fish. It turned out just the way I was hoping for. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, so I'll put these inside here and they can finish drying like that one's greasy and wet. From, uh, from the rain. Yeah, we'll take this off and we'll have a good look at her. This is all I got left for our, uh, for smoked buffalo meat. Last night I, I really, I really went hard on her all, which is fine. So, we'll take this up, we'll investigate it. That dried pretty damn good. You know, if it wasn't raining and, and so moist out, <clears throat> this should have been like right dry. So like I said, what I'm gonna do now, I'll just put this inside and uh, let it dry real good inside. No moisture on it and it should just be nice and crunchy. A lot of it is already, but the bigger pieces, like this piece here, you see it's still, Still a little bit soft. It's done, but like I said, I want it crunchy, crunchy. Now you see like these smaller pieces here on the uh, tail ends and these pieces here are right dry. Candied walleye. So, uh, so yeah, if you guys have never tried smoking fish before, walleye, uh, you know, you could smoke any type of fish. But uh, yeah, I usually don't do smoke a whole lot of walleye. Uh, I like smoked pike, but there ain't nothing wrong with smoked walleye. Uh, it's all I had for fresh fish. So uh, yeah, this should last a little while. I'll put it up inside the cabin and uh, let it dry inside in the heat out of the, the damp air out here. And uh, yeah, it's pretty much done. As you can see, it's kind of snowing. It's, it's a mixture of snow and rain. So, yeah. Anyways, guys, I'm going to hang my meat and sit around and wait for the ice to thaw so I can go beaver hunting. <laughs> okay, guys, talk to you another day.